What is up, you beautiful people? We need to talk about the two big issues that are plaguing Chelsea right now, which is why we've been struggling in the Premier League and kind of the Champions League. These are two things I think most people know about, but again, if you don't, stick around as we dive deeper into this. For those who don't know who I am, my name is Mike, huge fan of Chelsea, which is why we're always talking about this club. Sprinkle in with a little bit of other Premier League teams along with international when there's breaks and tournaments. Now, today though is on two topics for Chelsea and why they've been struggling, not only in the Premier League, but also in other areas as well, such as league games, such as Champions League. But we're going to be more focusing on the Premier League. Now, if you are new to this channel, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. I greatly appreciate that. So the first thing that we need to talk about is XG or expected goals. And this is a big one that's really been sticking out for Chelsea as of lately. Now, I have my screen off to the side, so I'm going to look at this. But during the Everton game, the expected goal was at roughly, give me one second here. It was at 3.49. That is massive when it comes to the, actually the scoreline because Chelsea, they only scored one goal in this match. There were so many chances that we should have scored and gotten past Pickford, but somehow we could not find the back of the net. Now that is comparing to Everton, who ended up having just a 0.64. That alone just shows you the massive gap between the two opportunities that Chelsea had versus Everton, yet the game ended 1-1. Because of that, Chelsea dropped points once again for multiple weeks in a row, and now they are slowly slipping away from that top spot where Manchester City have it with Liverpool right behind them. Chelsea, like I said, are in third. Arsenal are in fourth. But right now, Chelsea have a massive issue with finding the back of the net. Now, you could argue because they obviously had multiple guys out this past week due to the illness and everything along those lines. Lukaku hasn't been really scoring too many goals when he's been healthy, even though he hasn't been as of lately. Timo Werner, same thing, can't find the back of the net. Kai Havert also having issues, but again, this guy or those guys did not play against Everton, so you could say maybe they shouldn't have scored so many goals, but the fact that we had that many opportunities, someone else needs to score, just then not Mason Mount, because like I said, we have such top-tier talent. We have Pulisic, Ziyech was out there, Giorgino's not much of a goal scorer, but still, he can still find the back of the net along with other players on the pitch that can still score because we've seen multiple defenders score for us and again we just couldn't find the back of the net now going off that game just alone the other stat i want to talk about is then the shots on target we ended up having 23 shots with 10 shots on target now when you have that many shots and that many shots on target, you need to score at least two goals. I don't care what you say. And you can argue, well, maybe it just wasn't Chelsea's day. That being so, that definitely happens. But if you look at the Manchester City game when they played Leeds, they had a lower expectation of goals and scored seven goals. So you would think that maybe once every so often we would score a goal. But right now we cannot do that. And this is frustrating as a fan. I'm sure it's very frustrating for Tuchel and the players, but this is a big, big issue that is right now is affecting the club. Now, the second thing that we need to talk about are the clean sheets. This is where I think we're also having a huge issue with this club and with this team because in the beginning of the season, there was just talks about how we may go and smash the record for at least amount of goals scored in the Premier League. People were joking how West Brom were the only team to really score multiple goals against Chelsea. Well, since then, though, it's been a whole different story since we've come back from international break. I think the Juventus game was that last tipping point for the most part. And moving forward, we've been struggling because we haven't kept a clean sheet in so many matches now. It's just ridiculous. I mean, Mendy is doing a good job, but overall, there's still been some lacking issues in our defense and our goalkeeping, and we've been letting up too many goals. And because of that, we are dropping points. Now, I'm not sure what Thomas Tuchel can do in this category because this is one of those areas we really haven't been dealt with too many injuries, minus Ben Chilwell, which again, I think has been a huge factor. Marcus Alonso, I think is a downgrade, which again, puts more pressure on Rudiger on that left side. But even with Rudiger, Thiago Silva, Asphil Cueta, Christensen, Trevor Chalba's back, Reese James, all those guys, we definitely should be doing better. Now you could point the finger in the midfield as well. Conte out, Kovacic also out. 
Ben Dion with Jorginho and Ruben Loftus Cheek. So again, those two guys, yes, can do quite a bit, but again, they're not as defensively as Conte or Kovacic, who again have a little bit more fresh legs. They're not as old. Well, I guess Conte is a little bit older, but that guy can run forever. But they can go up and down the pitch block players coming up the middle or out on the wings and I think that makes a huge difference since they've been out hurt as well but this is the other key factor that Chelsea need to figure out sooner than later because again even if we score just the one goal against Everton if we keep that clean sheet so be it then we're not even having this conversation but the fact that we are laying goals to not only Everton who has been riddled with injuries this was even their top starting 11 players and somehow this came out with a point from Chelsea and this is a home game at Stamford Bridge where again Chelsea are very dominant should have done a lot better and like I said it's very frustrating as a Chelsea fan and again I know as players and manager there's a lot of frustrating going on as well but these are two areas that Tuchel needs to figure out sooner than later so I'm not too sure with the January window if they look into getting another player but or offloading some players because right now what we have is not working out maybe if we can mix and match a few different players that could help out but it something's got to change for this club whether Thomas Tuchel gets something out of these players after Christmas break and everything else after we have such a long string of games depending on if we play all these games but if he can't figure out sooner or later, we are going to lose a lot of points in a very short time stance. And that could, again, just put a massive effect on us winning the title for the Premier League. So that is my two cents or two takeaways on what's been really hindering Chelsea right now to get the three points in each and every match. Thomas Tuchel needs to figure something out with the top three or our attacking third and also the back third or the final third of our defense because, like I said, we're not scoring goals and we're not keeping clean sheets. And those two big factors are the reason why we're dropping points. So that is all I have for you today. If you, again, did enjoy this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe down below. I greatly appreciate that. And I will see you next time.